Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Rebel Clash video. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at another Colossal deck. There are quite a few combos we can play with Colossal, and the one we're looking at today is going to be with Staka Taka here. Now, the cool thing about this deck is it is going to be pretty much all about the Staka Taka, and Staka Taka does have some cool things about it. Um, it has an attack that can uh, kind of deck your opponent out. It can have an ability that makes it stronger in the late game. So it's really not that bad of a card. My only issue with this deck is Stack Attack's damage output is a little flimsy. It only does 130 damage max with Diancy. Um so it kind of sucks. You can't play Marshall's Dojo with Staka because Staka is an Ultra Beast and Marshall's Dojo does not work with Ultra Beast Pokemon. But other than that, this card is pretty cool. And once your opponent gets to three or fewer prizes, this thing actually gets 200 HP. So then we um, have it a little bit more bulkier. It can tank more hits, which helps it when you're not one-shotting stuff. And we can play buff padding which will give it um, the 250 HP. And we can also use Buff Pounding with Colossal, I found too. So yeah, before we get in the video, guys, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Car Kevin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDC Joe pack codes, uh, get them over at Car Kevin TCG. Of course, guys, if you have any codes also laying around that you don't need anymore, you can trade in your codes, uh, your unused codes, and your cards, and then you don't want to keep anymore. Two Card Kevin TCG. If you do that, they will give you some cash and in-store credit. Of course, so guys, you're still going to pick up PCO codes. Uh, get them over at Car Cavern TCG. Of course, guys, if you still want to get Rebel Clash pack codes, uh, if you still want to get any other pack or uh, set codes like uh, Unify Minds, Cosmic Eclipse codes, Hidden Fates codes, get them at Car Cavern TCG. They also have everything else in stock, like any specific promo Pokemon code, specific GX or V code, or maybe you're looking for any of the pre release evolution kit codes for any other set you're looking for. Get them over at Car Cavern TCG. If you pick up anything from Car Cavern, guys, uh, you can use my discount code CODELDF at the checkout for a 5% discount count on your purchase it greatly supports the channel helps yourself out and helps out Karkov and TCG too so yeah shout out to Karkov and guys check them out and use code LDF so let's look at this list so pretty straight forward and simple deck I mean the only attackers we have are stack attack and we have one Entei just for like the annoying uh the annoying grass decks we run into but stack attack here again it has a cool it has a few cool traits it can get more HP in the late game um it's attack honestly isn't bad i mean 110 with the ability to flip a coin to get tails and you discard the top card of your points deck for each heads it's not terrible because if you get like four heads you can like get rid of four cards and you never know what you might hit right you might get rid of extra quick balls extra pokemon maybe a prism star card it's a really good attack like in my opinion it's not that bad at all you can even deck the opponent out if your opponent is playing very uncarefully maybe even against a mill deck you can deck them out by accident who knows um so again, its main kind of drawback is its damage to put is just not good. Again, 130 HP in this day and age in the Pokemon TCG is just not enough to take enough one shots or even two shots. Now, at least with Diancy, this thing can one shot a Pika without a big charm on. See, you know, see where my issues are coming in. I would play Vitality Band with this card, but we need the Buff Padding because uh, it's just really good. Buff Padding will give the Stack Attack a 250 HP with its ability activated, or it can give it 170 HP. Um, you can also use buff padding with Colossal to give it uh, 210 HP, so buff padding is a really good card in this deck. Um, some other stuff, obviously, we got Jirachi for the setup, Mew to protect our bench, Diancy to do more damage. That's about it. There's no other attackers in this deck. It's just a non-GX deck, too, which is what I like about it. I'm going to the items now. I got one Evo Incense to find Colossal, uh, two comms to help us get us there, too, one Ernie Rod to get us back our stackers, four Quick Balls to get our basics, four Candies for Colossal, two Switch, um, I am playing an Ultra Space. I needed to put a Stadium in here. Again, you can't use Marshall's Dojo with Stack Up because it is an Ultra Beast. Marshall's Dojo does not work with Ultra Beast. So we have Ultra Space instead to find us a Stack Attacker for free. Um, and plus, you know, I want to play a Counter Stadium. Shrine of Punishment wouldn't be terrible either just to help you with your damage output. Um, I got one Boss's Order, four Cynthia, four Research, three Buff Padding, two Escape Board, and nine Fighting, and three Fire. A lot of energy, but again, with this deck, we're constantly trying to discard energy early on with Quick Ball and Research. Um, so it's just really good to have a lot of energy in this deck to help you thin. You could put a Verdian in here too if you want. It helps you get energy in the discard pile for Colossal. Um, but yeah, this is my stack attack of Colossal at the deck. It's actually pretty fun to play. So let's go try it out and we'll see in action. Alrighty then, let's go try out this Colossal stack attack deck here in our first match, which what looks to be, it might be against a possible Malamar deck. I don't know, I've been playing against Malamar in quite a while. Which is usually weird to say, but it's kind of state right now. Uh, we do go first. I think I will choose to go first here. Maybe get a turn to Colossal into play. Wow, we actually got a pretty good starting hand. Lots of basics is good. And we do have a Jirachi start with the rare candy. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to hold on to the Diancy just in case we need it. And okay, so it is going to be a Malamar deck. I was right. Let's go Stellar Wish. Jeez. Okay. 
Evo Incense. We have the turn to Colossal. That's not bad. Uh, maybe the issue against this matchup, if it is Malamar Giratina, Stack Attack, I can't one shot Giratina, even with Diancie in play. So that's going to be a bit of an issue. Because Stack Attack, unfortunately, doesn't work with Martial Arts Dojo, because of course there's an Ultra Beast. Um, that Viridian is actually really helpful to us. It allows us to get more energy in the discard. So hopefully, off a of Stellar Wish, we can hit a Cynthia or Research. Because we have a good start, which is good. I mean, we'll see what kind of Malamar deck this is. Okay, so yeah, they are not actually playing a Malamar Giratina deck straight up. They are. It looks like they're playing a more mixed box deck. And I'm fine with them playing Tag Team Pokemon. I am fine with that. Tag Teams are good to see, in my opinion. Okay, they get a Dedenne. That's another target we can have with Boss's Order. They give a reset. Good thing they didn't play that because we have the turn to Colossal. With no energy in the discard, but it's a start. They might uh, GGN something, though, is what I'm worried about. Okay, there's the Dedenne. Uh, gonna get rid of a Marnie. Ooh, good thing they didn't play that. I actually kind of surprised they didn't play it. Because I have the Evo Incense. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised they didn't play the Marnie there, to be honest. I mean, they might still play one, which is unfortunate. We probably should have played the Buff Patty. Okay, they have a Lily. That's not a, that's not a Marnie. That is not a Marnie. So let's see if they go into a Linear Attack. I'm kind of scared. I don't want them to do that. Because then it knocks something out. You can also hit the Roly Coley. We'll see if they have any bosses orders or anything too. Yeah, they're gonna get Giratina here. They've played the Viridian, I think, so they are going to probably get rid of the Giratina. Nope. Okay, they don't do anything else. Okay, nice. Uh we'll buff padding Viridian for an energy. Just do as much thinning as we can here before we play the Stellar Wish to hopefully get a supporter card. Get the Colossal down. All right, here we go, Stellar Wish. No supporter. We got a switch, though. We can go into the other Jirachi, which is fine. All right, here we go. Round number two. <laughs> Still no supporter. Okay, then. Uh, we'll take the Quick Ball. I guess. Uh, we'll probably just get another Roly Coley. And we'll just go do this. So that's unfortunate. Would have liked to have gotten an energy there to knock out this NK. It is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. We'll see what they Lanier attack. I mean, they can Lanier attack the Staka. The Staka won't be good yet until the buff padding activates. And we get the uh, Wall of Stone activated in the same time. So then at that point, we'll be having 250 HP. We aren't quite there yet. There's a Malamar for my opponent. They're actually evolving the active, which means they have a switch in their hand, I'm guessing. Because if not, or they have an air balloon, because if not, that kind of hurts them. You really want to get a supporter here next turn. Double, that's three star wishes without a supporter. That's not great. So hopefully we find one here. We're not going to lose both Jirachis, thankfully. But that's not good. Yeah, and they can GGN something off the board if they want to. They can get rid of the Colossal here. Oh, they're gonna probably do it unless they want to go just take a knockout. I mean taking the knockout would still be bad anyways Okay, they get rid of a bunch more stuff. All right, let's see if they GGN me Okay, so distortion door puts the damage on this. I mean this thing's gonna die anyways, right? 160. Oh, maybe not that distortion door actually is perfect numbers Now I wish I was attacking if only we got a supporter last turn they're probably going to GG on the Colossal. I mean, I just see no reason for them not to. Oh, they're actually going to knock out my Jirachi. Okay. Kind of surprised they didn't GG on the Colossal off the board. They could have even done it with Stack if they wanted. All right, let's see what we draw. Not what we're looking for. It's going to keep getting energy here. Here we go. Okay, finally we got a Supporter. I actually kind of don't want to play this Ordinary Rod. Um, but... I gotta do what I gotta do. I wanna save it for the stackers, but whatever. Let's see if we can take a knockout here. Yeah, we didn't get one. Um, I don't really like our hand too much, not gonna lie. Okay. Let's just get the other Colossal. Yeah, I don't really like our hand. <laughs> this hand's not very good. Um... We can put a fight on Colossal, maybe. 
Probably don't need to do that. I think we just pass. We'll save the Ultra Space. I don't even want to play it because I actually want to use the Viridian Forest to get rid of the energy. I mean, well, we needed a switching card actually too and stuff. Oh, there's a boss. They're actually going to knock out the Colossal, which is really surprising. Um, because we have another one in play. I actually don't really know why they're knocking out the other Colossal when they probably could have just knocked out Stack Attacka. They could have even knocked out Diancy if they wanted to. Yeah, I really don't know why they're bringing in the Colossal here. I mean, it does still hurt, but I still think it would have been better for them not to. I actually don't know if I want to bring in Jirachi or not, because if I whiff a switching card, I won't be able to attack. And I don't want to be set back too much. This thing's going to be hard to knock out, though. Dude, it's got 270 HP. It's like two... It's a lot of health. We might have to do something with Entei. I don't really know. This thing's going to be hard to KO. Okay, well, they have played a lot of resources. Hopefully, they don't have another boss's order. See, so, yeah, I think I'm just going to bring in the stack attacker here. I'm not going to bother Jirachi. I don't want to risk not getting a supporter. Um, so, yeah, I'm just not going to bother. I'm just going to keep getting energy in the discard pile here. We could put the Ultra Space in play. I mean, I guess. Probably want to get the other stack out right now, anyways. What is Tar Generator? Build up our stack attack. And we'll top down here. Unfortunately, we're not two-shotting this. And we don't even get heads. That's... That's very disappointing. We don't even get heads on the uh, coin flip. But once he knocks me out, we actually are going to get a lot more HP here. So that's a good sign. We're going to have a lot of HP when he KOs me here. I mean, he could also knock out the Colossal, though, if he has another... Well, he could just GGN the Colossal, actually. They have 19 cards left. It's going to take Liza. Okay, now, well, now their deck is a lot bigger. Very weird Malamar list, though, with Tate and Liza, Marnie, Lily, Research... And boss's order. That's a little bit too many supporters, I think. Alright. Okay, so it's going to knock me out. Which is good. So, uh, yeah, we can bring in this other stack of here. And we can tank a hit. Again, though, they do have GG end. So we need to get another Colossal. Oh, my gosh. We drew this. I was like, okay. Hopefully we don't draw an escape board. Because I'm not bringing in Jirachi in case I don't get a switch. And uh, we ended up getting a switch. Love to see it. That's fine, though. Let's just go for the top down. Still not knocking him out, but he'll have 10 HP left. Let's see how many heads we get. Two heads. Not bad. Uh, ooh, get rid of an ordinary rod and a calm. That's, uh, I don't know why they're playing two rods. This is not the most amazing Malamar list, but they are putting the pressure on me. My opponent is putting me in some, in an awkward spot. Let's see if they knock me out, or, well, not knock me out, but GGM me. Again, I'm assuming they're going to try GGN Colossal. But this guy can tank quite a few hits. He's got 250 HP. Well, I guess Tina can still two-shot it, which is a little annoying. Yeah, our numbers in this matchup just aren't really good enough. The Diancy's not letting us one or two-shot this. It's not even letting us one-shot Tina. Yeah, they're going to GGN me. Which is fine. We, can, uh, we can't take a knockout with... Well, we can knock out with Entei, but we can't can't do what I wanted to do. So let's go Stellar Wish. Yikes. Okay, what am I taking here? I guess Switch. That's a big yikes, bro. We uh, didn't get a uh, supporter once again. That's fine. We'll... Uh, well, we can take a knockout with Entei. Entei won't, unfortunately, be able to do its most damage, but this guy's got 10 HP left, so it, we can still knock him out if we want. So we'll just take the KO with Entei here. That's fine. As long as we get a knockout, we're good. All we have to do now is knock out Dedenne and um, a Pokemon. We can actually win this a lot easier. Okay, and energy's good. Another energy's okay. Still no supporter. Now, if they don't get an attack on Giratine here, this is going to be really, really good for us. Oh, no, they got another Tina Chomp. Okay, that's not good. How much is this guy doing? 130? Well, actually, 150. Ooh, you know what we can do? Go Staka into Colossal to knock this out. Or if we get a prize on the Malamar this turn, we can actually then knock out a Dene if we get that boss's order. 
Maybe this isn't too bad. Maybe, honestly, I probably shouldn't have gotten the switch. Maybe I should have just taken the boss's order there. I don't know. We could probably two-shot this, though. We can try that two-shot play. We need to get another Colossal play. We're going to pull that off, though. Oh, they have a switch. Oh, this guy's annoying. <laughs> what kind of deck is this? This is the weirdest Malamar list I've ever seen. So, yeah, we're going to have to try to get a two-shot off here. We got to go Staka into Colossal. We can also hit a buff Patty. And yeah, I shouldn't have taken that switch. That was... I don't know why I did. Okay, there's Rare Candy. Come on, give me a good Stellar Wish. Okay, we got the double Colossal. That's important. It's very, very important. So we are going to attack here with Staka. I mean, this could all go down if he knocks out Diancy too, obviously, or just Colossal. So if he has another boss's order, this play is not going to work out. Like, he could easily see this coming, obviously. So let's go top down here. How many heads we get? Maybe we just get enough heads to deck them out. That would be nice. Unfortunately, we're not going to get there, though. So we're going to lose the game if my opponent... Bo well, not even, I guess if they boss, we don't lose because we do have 200 HP. So you still can't one-shot me here. So we aren't going to lose right away. All we have to do, though, is just hit this. So maybe having the switch is good because, I mean, if he retreats this into Tina, which I feel like he's going to do, all we have to do is switch Andrachi and then pray Stellar Wish. Three Giratinas? What type of deck am I playing against, bro? Um, anyways, we can switch Andrachi and dig for the boss and then s just go Colossal Knockout. So that play's still available. Or we just take two prizes by knocking out a... One prizer and then take out Dedenne. Yeah, they are going to go Tain Liza. That's fine. We'll see where they put the 40 damage to. I'm kind of curious to see where this is going. Okay. What do we draw? Cynthia. It's a good card to fall back on. Just so we can thin the... Thin the uh, the energy out. Alright, here we go. We're going to switch, and we need to get a boss order to win this game. Didn't get it. We'll take the Sycamore. Or the Research. Whatever you call it. We'll take Research. Oh, we just need to get boss for next turn. No, we didn't get it. Hmm. We can KO Giratina with Colossal. Honestly, the, I don't mind that. Uh, yeah, I think we actually do that. We got a KO with the uh, non-damage non Colossal, though. Oh, no, we can't. We don't have energy in the discard? There's no way. No, okay, we do. I was like, what? <laughs> How do we not have energy in the discard pile? Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. We need to get that boss's order, though, really badly if we're going to win this game. We're out of switches, too, so we can't go back into Jirachi. We could retreat into Jirachi, but that's not going to do us anything. We'll see what happens here. We're getting close. Oh, he actually promotes the Giratina. He can't one-shot me because I put the buff padding on, so we have 210 HP. Buff padding is OP, apparently, with the Colossal. All right, let's see what he does. He can't kill me. He has to... I, he could, um... There's nothing he can do, actually. He has to have a boss's order, but he can't win the game. He'd have to go back into the gear. Oh, yeah. I guess he goes back into the Giratina. But then we can knock that out. I think we can win this, guys. I think we can win this. We're still going to knock out the Giratina anyways. They still have the annoying distortion door. Why do they have three Giratinas? All we need to do is get that boss's order, and we're good to win the game. We have ten cards left. We have pretty good odds of finding the boss's order. Okay, another Tate and Liza. What the heck am I playing against, bro? Why do you have four Tate and Liza's in your... I don't even know at this point. I don't even know. I don't even know why I bother. <laughs> Boss order top deck. No. Quick ball's good. We can thin the deck out. Boss is there. It's 
what's in the deck. Okay, Cynthia, come on, give me the boss. If I don't get it. Oh, it doesn't matter. We still have... Okay, there's the boss. Nice. I'm just going to play these quick balls, too. To thin the deck out. And before they belebble a Bryson man me. Lol. Keck you. Whoops. Okay, I didn't mean to click that. Whatever. Let's just put the energy on this. Alright, here we go. Flaming Avalanche. So yeah, we have game next turn unless we get Bellable of Bryson Mand or Reset Stamp to 1. That would do... A Reset Stamp to 1 would prevent me from getting the boss, possibly. If they play a 1 of Bella Bella Bryson Man, though, I actually quit. I'm actually going to quit PCGO. I'm going to move on and be a YouTuber who uploads Fortnite videos. This guy actually has Bella Bella Bryson Man. But we should have game here. I don't see how they're going to be able to win this. Why do they play? Is that four, four Giratinas? Why am I... What? Dude, like, what? <laughs> what am I playing against? Uh. Alright, what do they got? Okay, that is game. Dude, <laughs> I don't even know what, like, kind of Giratina deck this is. Yeah, they, they just knocked me out with the active. We didn't even have to get the boss, I guess. So we got 100 coins for all our hard effort. Dang, bro. All right, well, see you guys in a match. All right, guys, let's get into another match with our stack of Colossal deck here. And, oh, we're not up against the Pika deck. I mean, it'd be too easy recording all these fighting deck videos if I just keep showing games against Pika, I guess. But still, it's like, it's a free win, bro. You know what I mean? I still want it. It looks like we're playing against a Mewtwo deck. All right, nice amount of basics here. Pretty good start. I kind of feel like starting with Entei. I don't know if I want to start with Stack Attack. Uh, so I don't want it to get knocked out. I think, yeah, we'll start with Entei here. I know it's kind of weird, but I don't really want to... I don't really care if we lose Entei. I'd rather lose Entei over Stack. Uh. Ooh, a Cramorant. It's a little scary. We'll just put that there. We'll just pass. We need to find a Mew to protect our bench. We unfortunately don't have a way to disrupt a beat catch, though. That's one issue. We don't have Marnie or Stamp in this deck. But, uh, that's fine. Hmm. It looks like they might actually be playing Baby Blounds. Okay. Now I wish I actually kept the Entei, because we might actually use Rally back to one-shot. So, yeah, it looks like we're playing against Baby Blacephalon here. Which, yeah, we'll see if we can beat this. This is definitely going to be a back-and-forth game. For sure. We don't have a way to get rid of their hand size, which is a main issue. But we do have top down, and maybe we get lucky. And we do have a lot of HP, too. That's everything with stack attack. We have a ton of HP. Um, so there is a chance that once we get 250 HP, it makes Blacephalon way over commit. And maybe top down could get a good couple discards. Maybe discard a couple welders with top down. Maybe a couple crystals, maybe. So I'm actually feeling okay about this matchup. I'm going to be honest with you. The only problem is we need to find Mew. I might go research just to get the Mew because I don't want to get spit shotted. So I might just research and try to get a quick ball to guarantee the Mew. The spit shot is very annoying. Another stack. Uh, I want to get Jirachi in play. I guess we'll Cynthia then. I hate to do it, but what do we got to do? Oh, we didn't get Mew. We did get Rare Candy Colossal. We can't really make much use out of it though. And it looks like Stack is going to be a goner here. I'm just going to pass. I'm not going to bother mentioning anything. Everything is just a target for Spit Shot. I mean, we can rally back next turn if they knock out Stacka. We can Rare Candy into Colossal and rally back this guy, which I guess is fine. That was a really bad Cynthia, though. Our hand is not having it. Not good. Yeah, there's the annoying Spit Shot. I'm actually... I mean, yeah, it's... I mean, it is good to knock this out, I guess, but I'm more surprised they didn't have got a really coolie. All right, let's see we draw. All right, nice. We're still in the game. You'll love to see it. All right, let's get this guy down. Bench this. And here we go, Cynthia. We need to get a Fire Energy. We also want to get a Mew. Um, all right, nice. I'm just going to get the Mew. I would get Jirachi, but, I mean, <laughs> we need to get this guy down. Just so we don't lose our Colossal here. And we'll rally back for 120. Alright. Still not a great spot to be in. Uh, we can go into Mew next turn though. We just need to get a Jirachi. Uh, the Cynthia still didn't give us much. But uh, I mean I had the choice to get Jirachi. But I need to get Mew so we don't get spit shotted again. Yep, there's the second Welder. 
How much HP does this have? 80? I mean, we do have another Colossal. If we can draw a rare candy here, maybe we can try to knock this out with Colossal. Maybe. <sighs> Spit shot. Very, very, very annoying. Whoa, why is my game lagging so much? What the? My frames dropped. Why is my frames dropped? All right, we're back. We're good. Can we draw something? We do. Nice. Uh, we might lose another prize here, though. That's the only problem. Nope, never mind. I'm going to take the research. Just going to go for it. All right. Um, we whiffed an energy, I just realized. Ugh. We whiffed an energy, so we actually can't take a knockout here. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that energy whiff is big. Yikes. We're at the way to turn. Oh man, that sucks. I mean, they haven't played, if they have, ooh, if they have to play another welder, I guess that's fine for crime ramp, but dang it, bro. Oh my gosh, the energy whiff is real. Ugh, that sucks. Now it's looking less likely we're gonna be able to win this. We're gonna be way behind in prizes. We're going to be way too behind in prizes here. The only thing we have going for us is Stack Attacka will have 250 HP if we can find a buff padding, but... It's not looking good, guys. It is not looking good. Maybe I should have retreated into Mew so that we keep Drachi alive, but if I lose Mew, that opens the door for another spit shot at some point. So, yeah, just nothing I can do there. We just got unlucky. We didn't find an energy for Stack Attacka. They're actually still building up the Cramorant for some reason. Okay, I don't really know why they're doing that. Best case scenario, they don't have a switch. They probably do, though. Their hand is huge. Yeah, they have a scoop up net. I don't know why they went with Cramorant, though. Yo, tell me they're actually going to try to spit shot something on the bench. Okay, I do not know why they did that. They should have just won Belcephalon. Now we're going to get two prizes. Which I'm cool with. Alright, let's see what we draw. Alright, nice. We got another uh, Colossal into play. All right, here we go, Cynthia. What? Dude, what is his hand? Oh my gosh, no. Oh no. This hand ain't good. Uh-oh. Might have to attack with Colossal next turn. Or we could also use Dionce. That's not gonna work. I think we have to go Colossal next turn. All right, top down here. Let's see how many heads we get. One, two. One, okay, what do we get rid of? Heat Factor, oh, that's a good discard. All right, what's our prizes looking like? Nice, not nice. No, that, this is a very bad hand. We have no Pokemon. Uh, this is not good. We do have 200 HP. So they do need a lot of energy here to knock me out, which they definitely have, unfortunately. We had such a shaky start here, man. Uh, it's not looking good. We really need buff padding too to make him commit the extra energy too. But we didn't get it. This this hand is actually trash. We need to get a Pokemon top deck, or we're we're gonna have to just attack with Colossal, which I don't want to do. I really don't want to do. Mmm, they're digging. It looks like maybe for the Welder. That's good. Let's have another net for Mewtwo. Man, I wish this hand wasn't so bad. Okay, or Corio. I mean, they're definitely gonna get a knockout here. Like, there's no way they won't. I just wish we had hand disruption, but there's no room. Still surprised they went with the Kramer in there, because those two prizes are really good for us to take. I mean, we could boss next turn and bring in the Zacian, knock it in, or hit the Zacian. I don't know. We probably just want to hold the boss's order. There's nothing we can knock out, though, with boss on the bench. We can't one-shot Oracorio. We can't ever one-shot this. So the boss, honestly, isn't that good here. I mean, if they don't knock me out, maybe we can boss's order the Bolcephalon. If, like, for some reason they didn't get a Welder, we could just boss the Bolcephalon, I guess. Which I'm actually fine with. But, yeah. There's no way Stacka's living here. If Stacka survives a turn, I don't know what to tell you. That will be some wild, insane luck. They're definitely gonna get a KO, though. Yeah, scoop up net. They can just put the Mewtwo back. Oh, no. They're gonna put the Jirachi in. Okay, never mind. Hmm. 
They're gonna get a welder here though. Yep, there it is. There is that welder. We really need to get a stack of here, bro. Where's my boy at? Ugh. Yeah, they got the knockout. Yeah, they got it. Damn it. I was hoping they wouldn't. They have 10 cards left, so I don't know if we can deck them, but if we get 10 heads in a row. They still need to order damage. They need to commit a lot of energy to knock me out. But yo, they've only played, what, two fire crystals? It's not good. Okay. Let's see what we top deck. We might have to attack with Colossal if we don't draw anything here. We don't draw anything. Awesome sauce. So we're going to have to knock him out with Colossal. <clears throat> not good. Not good at all. Still have another Colossal in play, which is good. Well, what can we get off our prizes that can help us? Okay. Jirachi can turn into Stack Attack, or we can Stellar Wish. I think... I don't know, actually, what I want to do. They're down 12 energy. We still have a lot of HP. They still have to do 200 damage to me because we have that 6 energy on us. Mm. Sorry, the 60 H... The 110 HP. Okay, whatever. They got 8 cards left. Uh, if they play Oracorio here, we could deck them. Okay, they're definitely going to get a knockout, though. Oh, they only have one prize left, actually. Yeah, we're probably going to lose this, because they still have baby... Uh, they still have Cephalon GX. Yeah, we're never going to win this, guys, I don't think. Well, they have five cards left. If we get, like, insanely lucky with Stack Attacka somehow, and get, like, five heads in a row, maybe we stand a chance. Well, how many switches have they played? Only two. So we can't even trap Zacian in the active. But they still have Welder, I guess. There's nothing we can do here, guys. I think we just gotta lose. Oh, they're doing Dance of Tribute. Oh, I got two cards left. Okay. Maybe there's actually a chance to win this game. Maybe. They have two cards. If we just get double heads on top down, we actually could win by decking them out. That might actually be possible. Maybe we have a chance of winning. We just gotta get double heads on top down. Oh, if only they got a Pokemon then. Then we just need one heads to win. Yeah, I don't think they... Oh, they still have Warney Rod, though, don't they? Yeah. They still have Warney Rod. They might not play it, though. Mm, we'll see. No Warney Rod. One time. Okay. So, we have a chance of winning this. We just need to get two heads on our thing. Well, how much energy have they played? Three fires. No, they still have a fire crystal. Yeah, there's no point. They're still going to get the Bilcephalon energy here. Wow, we drew, like, absolute garbage at the end of the game here. That is feels like bad, man, times 50. All right. Here it is. Here it is. So can we do anything different to prevent him from winning? We could try to bring in the Zacian. He's played two switches. That's not even going to work. If he was out of switches, I actually would trap the Zacian here because he doesn't have any welders left. So yeah, we just gotta hope to get double heads here on top town. <laughs> this is for the meme, but here we go, double heads. And we don't even get a we don't even get a single heads. It was meant to be. It just wasn't meant to be. Yeah, it looks like that will be game, unfortunately, against this Bilcephalon deck. Unless literally their last prize happens to be a Bilcephalon GX. Nope, there it is. There it is. Oh, baby Bilcephalon. Baby Bilcephalon. What a deck. Anyways, but I'll wrap up the video, guys, on the Stack Attack -a deck. Unfortunately, we took an L there to Baby Blounds, but it just wasn't meant to be. But anyways, I'll wrap up the video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on the video, subscribe down below to help me with reaching 9K subs. We just hit 8,700 subscribers, so I gotta thank you guys for the support and the growth in the channel. Once again, guys, it has been greatly appreciated. We're getting closer to 9K subs by the day, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. Also, gotta thank you guys for all the support on yesterday's Legacy video. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I have some other Colossal decks coming up eventually soon, too, so keep your eye out for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.